Hey everybody, Stu Clark. Welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, I've been uh, busy Christmas season, so it's always uh, tough to get time to get out shooting, uh, restocking all the Christmas cards and the like. So lots of fun. Uh, but the, you know, recent purchase of the Z8 has really inspired me to kind of get out and do some landscape photography, mix things up a little bit, um, which is pretty exciting. And as you can tell from behind me. I'm at one of the more epic local locations. Yeah, I'm pretty fortunate. This is actually uh, just a couple of minutes down the road from where I live. Uh, this is uh, the Kinsel Trestle. As you can see behind me here, pretty amazing spot. I'm super inspired to kind of get out and do some uh, landscape photography. It's been a long time. I've been very wildlife focused, obviously, through the years. So it's, uh, you know, finally getting this 45 megapixel full frame body. Uh, yeah, real ex really inspired to kind of just get out and really mix up some shooting. Uh, yeah, I was out gonna go and uh, chase some elk, see what was around. Uh, been quite a quiet eagle year so far. So I figured I'd go out and see what was around. And then as I'm driving, I didn't realize it was all socked in with fog. So I figured, yeah, this is probably where I should be today. I haven't been down here in ages, so yeah, really excited. Uh, such a photogenic spot. Surprisingly quiet for Saturday, but it is late in the day, which is always good. So yeah, you can see what uh, shots I'm working on here. Landscape's definitely a, a different gig for me. A little bit slower pace, which is nice. I try and recuperate from the last two months of uh, running, running crazy uh, cards, mugs, everything's been uh, been a very busy season. So uh, kind of looking forward to the next few weeks of just getting out, doing a bunch of shooting and hopefully get a bunch of videos posted. I've been, uh, you know, as I say, it's been, been, been a crazy year, um, just so much going on. So it's uh, really good to finally uh, uh, have the camera um, geared up. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to uh, getting into spring. Owl season should be kicking up pretty quick. I uh, might have to get over to Lower Mainland and see what's happening over there in the next couple weeks here. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna take some shots. Funny when you live in places like this, you can, uh, when we first moved up here, came out here a number of times, but it's a bit too busy for my liking normally. Uh, funny enough, I'm Saturday before Christmas, I'm out here and it's, uh, there's a bit of traffic, but it's later in the day, um, but the conditions are just absolutely magical. Out for a drive around more than anything, get out of the house uh, and saw the fog and I'm like, I need to come here and uh, just, wow. Said I probably photographed this more with my phone than I have with the camera. So I am so excited to finally have the Z8 uh, lined up on this. This is the shot I'm looking at right now. Incredible spot this. Super picturesque. Historical uh, train bridge that they've converted into uh, part of the Trans-Canada Trail. And fog can be tough if you can find some nice mammals, it's great, but it can be terrible for the bird, trying to find birds in it. So 
I decided to uh, throw, luckily through the throw the wide angle in the bag. Uh, normally, I'm really hard pressed to put it on. Uh, I just said wildlife has always been my thing, but I'm really, really excited. I've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos, Photo Tripper, uh, Thomas Heaton. Uh, been really inspiring me to get out, throw the wide angle on, and kind of mix things up a little bit. Um, this camera is just so excited. Yeah, it's just great. Uh, and yeah. I think I'm actually getting some photos I might like too. Conditions are just absolutely perfect here right now. What I love about this shot right now is how the bridge is disappearing into the mist. In for a pretty epic shot. Yeah, when I was driving out, I thought the mist was going to dissipate. The sun started to come through the light a bit. Uh, it looked like it was just going to totally break up on me. Uh, and instead, it just got better and better. Yeah, look at this. Awesome. What a fantastic afternoon. So glad I came this way. Like I said, it's going to be, obviously, wildlife is still my thing. So it'll be, it'll be a bit of mixing it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to definitely be playing a bit more of some landscape photography. You know, I live on Vancouver and live where I do. It's kind of silly not to. This is definitely one of those locations you could spend a lifetime uh, photographing. Uh, it's just such an incredible spot. Uh, and all the different lighting conditions, obviously, today with the fog is pretty close to perfect. Uh, it's pretty tough to beat a day like today. Uh, even if it is a Saturday, it's quite busy. Moved a little bit further down the bridge area to kind of get a little bit lower, have a different perspective. definitely one of those shoots where uh, you can kind of you can mix up your uh, focal length uh, with the zoom it's really nice you can kind of change it up but you could also come and shoot it with just a prime and really uh, get into the nitty-gritty uh, really analyze the whole structure uh, the forest around it the fog um, yeah quite a beautiful spot here like I said it's uh, I'll definitely be making a few more trips back here over the winter months yeah beautiful spot well I must say this is a much different shoot than I originally planned uh, and to be honest it was really inspiring I really enjoyed it I hope I got some good shots I hope you enjoy them well thanks for joining me on the shoot today uh, I hope you uh, Found a little bit of inspiration to get out with the camera like I did today. Uh, hopefully we have a, some decent weather this Christmas holidays and can actually get out and do some shooting. Uh, sometimes it's nice to mix it up and uh, yeah, today was definitely one of those days. Really happy about it. So till next time, see you out there.